for listening to music i have been uh, using mpd for many years now and uh, today i want to show you and explain you very quickly how it works and how you can also use it on your machine or maybe your server now mpd is you know, called as music player daemon which is basically a server side application for playing music now mpd works like a server that you can install on maybe your local computer usually on your local computer if you're trying to set up something within your uh, home but the best part is that using mpd you can also control the music playing on that particular machine using a mobile app and at the same time you can stream music if you want not to install uh, mpd you can do it uh, in variety of ways and i i highly recommend you to take a look at this site where you can learn how it works and you can read the documentation on how to use it now apart from mpd which is of course a server for listening to the music and to control your music let us say you are playing a music or maybe you want to manage your playlist you would use a client now the client that i use is called as the ncmp cpp i know it's a bit long but it is really great it works wonderfully well and uh, let me first show you how it works now to install mpd you uh, you need to basically use brew in case you are on mac and you would do something like brew install mpd once this is done you then need to um install ncmp cpp and that is it of course you need to do few configurations and i will show you the configurations very quickly now the very first thing that you need to do is you need to create this uh, file called mpd.conf and uh, you can create this file uh, in your uh, home directory within a directory called as .mpd and then you can configure few things in this particular file now i take a i will rec recommend you to take a look at the sample configurations when you are on the website in the documentation of course but it is not really complicated all you need to do you need to specify the bind to address which is 127.0.0.1 and uh, i also want this to to basically bind to an address which is uh, for my server for my machine now this address 192.168.0.12 is the ip address of my machine my mac that i'm using so you need to specify the addresses here now i i am specifying this address because i want to also use uh, a mobile app to control music on this machine and uh, the mobile app will basically use this ip address so you can have multiple addresses if you want then you need to specify the music directory so i have within my home directory a folder called songs and i can create a folder within songs directory called playlist so this can be any directory you just need to configure it then there are some other files that you uh, can specify here, or you can just copy it as it is like uh, what is the db file log file pid file state file auto update is something that i keep it as here so whenever i add a new file or new new um, music file in my playlist or in my songs directory mpd will uh, auto refresh the database then you need to specify the audio output in case of mac it is osx and the mixer type is software but in case you are using uh, let us say linux then it can be pulse audio so you can take a look at your uh, documentation to get some idea about this which is of course you can find when you go to the website then it is also possible to display some kind of uh, visualization of uh, the song when it is playing and for that you need to use something called as uh, fifo 
and you need to specify a path which is a temporary directory usually on linux it is like slash tmp slash mpd dot fifo file that you can uh, take a look here let me get rid of my face and you need to specify the format so this is the configuration of uh, your mpd let me go out and uh, show you how to basically run this so mpd will install as a service and you can basically do something like uh, let me just do that do it very quickly so you can do something like this brew services start mpd because i am on mac or stop mpd if you want to stop the server now once you do this you need to then configure uh, your uh, ncm p c p p and uh, let me do that uh, very quickly i will open a file let me just open it very quickly i couldn't find it so ncm p c p p config so this file is something that you need to create and there are a lot of things that you can configure here but this is like the bare minimum if you want to have visualization then you need to specify the path of the temp directory followed by mpd.fifo file and you can then specify a few things like you know the output name and uh, visualizer sync interval and and few other things you can always take a look at the documentation links that i you know presented earlier these uh, two pages will give you a lot of ideas about how to configure these files and uh, you can always refer to the documentation of mpd for configuring and how to install it on different uh, flavors of linux now let me show you how it works let me uh, just start ncmp cpp so this is basically a way to do this on the same computer in the configuration of ncmp cpp uh, you can specify the mpd underscore host which is of course your local computer but you don't have to because by default it will look for local host um, but basically it will uh, if you run this it will uh, look for the mpd server running on localhost and it will show you all the files that you can play all the mp3 files and this is the this is the interface of ncmp cpp and you can configure a lot of things the way you work in uh, this particular interface is that, that you can press numbers like on top this is of course a main screen i will make sure the volume is zero and to play the song you can just uh, press enter and uh, you can press uh, p to pause the song and uh, there are a few other keywords if you press these numbers on top like if i press uh, 2 it will give me the option to browse all the songs if i press 3 i i can search for songs if i press 4 it will give me the option to basically take a look at the files organized by artist and albums if i press four uh, not four five then i can ma manage my playlist if i press uh, six i can add tags to my files if i press uh, seven i can decide uh, the output you can have different outputs um, maybe you want to play in different uh, audio outputs maybe, maybe you have these configured uh, for me it is of course very simple i just have my mac along with the visualization which is my underscore fifo if i press the if i press 8 it will show me the song playing so this is actually the visualize music visualizer and if you press space it will have different options and it looks really good uh, and really cool because uh, you're doing it on uh, terminal which is uh, really nice and uh, i can go back to the um number one the first screen here and by the way i don't have to use the ncmp cpp for playing songs on the server i can simply do 
I can simply control this using the using the uh, mobile app. So if you search on the Play, Play Store, you can find a uh, lot of uh, apps that can basically con let you control the music on the server. And uh, these uh, apps work exactly like uh, the client NCMP CPP, but of course uh, it is on mobile and it is a bit convenient. No, it is a lot convenient because let us say you are roaming in your house and uh, maybe you are in the garden or maybe you are just you know too lazy to control the music by getting up and pressing the shortcuts or keys on your keyboard to control the, the playing music. You can simply do it using the mobile app and that is really convenient. So you can take a look at these uh, clients that I use. You can use any any one of them. It is a, it, it is totally up to you. Which I mean, all of these clients will basically give you this interface, which is very similar to a typical like your typical players like Spotify or uh, Amazon Music or maybe your local music player app. But of course, we are doing it on uh, a different machine we are we are basically using this app or ncmp cpp uh, to control the music either you can do the same either you can have it running on the same machine or maybe from a different machine so ncmp cpp can also be installed on maybe your other machines maybe you have a small netbook i have a small netbook that i use for doing small things and i actually use it for controlling music on the main machine maybe it, it could be my mac or it could be my other machine and it is always convenient to use so this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much